Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the dependency inversion principle. And although it sounds complicated, it really boils down to decoupling high level modules or business logic from low level modules or implementations. It's one of the five solid principles of object oriented programming, and it's designed to improve software design and maintainability. And this comes in the form of two core ideas. Idea number one is that high level modules should not depend on low level modules. Both should depend on abstractions. And idea number two is that abstractions should not depend on details. Details should depend on abstractions. Without dependency inversion, changes in low-level modules, for example database implementations or APIs, can ripple up to high-level modules, which makes the system very fragile and harder to maintain. By depending on abstractions, the high-level logic remains unaffected by the changes in lower-level details. And this works because of two concepts, the abstraction layer and the dependency injection design pattern. The abstraction layer introduces an interface, or abstract class, that defines the contract between high-level and low-level modules. And using dependency injection, you can use techniques like constructor injection, property injection, or method injection to provide the required dependencies at runtime. Okay, so here you can see there's a code snippet that does not use dependency inversion. Data processor is tightly coupled to the MySQL database class, and any changes in the database requires modifying data processor. Okay, now let's revisit the same code snippet, but with dependency inversion introduced. So here, data processor depends on the abstraction database, not on the concrete MySQL database. So switching to another database, for example, Postgres database, would require no changes in the high level module data processor. And we get lots of different benefits from using dependency inversion. So we get improved modularity because the high-level logic is decoupled from the implementation details. We also have better testability because the mock dependencies can be injected for testing. And an added bonus that we get is we have easier extensibility and maintainability, which means that adding new implementations requires minimal changes. If you learned something new today, I would greatly appreciate if you left a like and commented below. And if you want to help the channel grow even more, you can consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to receive notifications for future updates. As always, thank you very much for watching this video, and happy coding!